It's the big one, ladies and gentlemen. This weekend, the return of the Premier League. It's the North London derby. And there's so much to look forward to. As a neutral, there are always goals in this game. It's never over until the final whistle. And I am excited to watch and see and digest how this game progresses. Before we go any further, by the way, hit the like button and make sure you are subscribing. Now... I said this the other day and I stand by. I've seen a lot of Arsenal fans go into panic mode this week. Now, let me start by saying, if you're someone that doesn't rate the Arsenal squad, if you're someone that doesn't rate Mikel Arteta, I kind of understand with losing a, a number of your best players, already not having faith in your team, why you would be stressed ahead of this game. It makes complete and utter sense. The individuals I haven't quite understood this week are the people that believe that Arsenal are title contenders, can win the league, in some cases will win the league, but at the first sign of a setback, when adversity strikes, there is this big panic. Now then, if you look at the next five games for Arsenal, Man City away, look, you invariably don't win that anyway. But you've got the likes of Leicester and Southampton, Bournemouth. I would expect Arsenal, even with Calafiori, even with Moreno, even with Odegaard potentially missing, I would expect Arsenal to win those games. And I feel the same today about the North London derby. When you look at recent history, just one win home and away in this fixture for Tottenham. And that was a 3-0 win at the end of the 2021-22 season. And it was a convincing 3-0 win. Outside of that, outside of that, Arsenal have been the better team all won every other game. Every other game. Now, I understand there's some important players missing. But Arsenal are still clear. Arsenal have the better goalkeeper, the better defence, the better midfield, and the better overall attack. Now, let me caveat that by saying it doesn't mean Spurs can't win. It doesn't mean Spurs can't, cannot perform better on the day. It just means that Arsenal shouldn't be going into this game. I get this nerves. I get the tension. I get the rivalry. I understand the tribalism. And when it's your football team, of course you feel different about it. I understand all of that. But the players should be going into this game buoyant. The players should be going into this game with a, with a swagger. Not overconfidence. Not arrogance. But a swagger that we are the better team. 23 to 26 points ahead of Spurs in the last two seasons. A Tottenham team that do press hard, that will attack you, but will also leave lots of space for you to work in. And with the speed of the Sackers, the Martinelli's, Raheem Sterling coming into this team, it's going to be a high-scoring game, and I personally see Arsenal winning. And I, I know Spurs fans will see this as glazing Arsenal, praising Arsenal. It's, I, mean, I just think Arsenal are better than Tottenham, even with the injuries. It's as simple and as straightforward as that. I see this being a game, high scoring. I'm going for a 3-2 Arsenal win. I believe it will ebb and flow as well, the game. You could, see, you could see Spurs take the lead. You could see Arsenal take the lead. But I believe whoever concedes the first goal is going to have an opportunity to come back into it and win it. I believe it's going to be an amazing game of football this afternoon for us to feast on as football fans. And I think for rivals, we can just sit back and enjoy it for what it is. I get for Tottenham and for Arsenal fans, it's going to be now biting, worrying and concerning. But the only element in the, in the build-up to this that I've found frustrating is the Arsenal fans who back their manager, the Arsenal fans who back Arsenal Football Club and this squad, who have been panicking and worrying and almost crying about the game. It's not really made sense to me. I get being annoyed players are injured, but the, oh, that's it. It's a write-off. It's, it's over. The season's done before it's begun. I, I just think that kind of talk already is crazy, in my personal and humble opinion. The other thing I wanted to address ahead of the game was something that Big Ange Postacoglu said. And he stated that essentially uh, it doesn't matter it's the, the North London derby. And that from he, his perspective, he would be almost embarrassed as a professional if he wanted to win certain games more than others. And although I know football fans have taken that poorly from the perspective of, well, he doesn't understand rivalry, he doesn't understand tribalism. He isn't talking from the perspective of a fan. So as much as 
people are kind of attacking Ans for not taking this game seriously or not understanding football. He does. But he's a professional. I spoke about this many times before, and I'll say it again. When I was fortunate enough to have one of my previous jobs, I, I worked alongside a number of football players. And sometimes we'd need them to sign documents or whatever it may be. And you speak to them and say, when are you available? 99.9% .9 of them would say, mm, I'm working until 2, and I'll be home by 3, so could you meet me at my house at 3? Or could you come to work, and, and we could sign it in my break? They didn't refer to training as training as we do. They didn't refer to going to games as, I've got a game tonight. They said, I'm going to work. They treat it very, very professionally. They really, really do. That doesn't mean, and again, people sometimes take things, of course, if you said to him, would you rather win end of season game to go from sixth to fifth? Would you rather win that more than winning the FA Cup final? I guarantee you he picks the FA Cup final. But I also think it's right that how frustrated would you be if you're a Spurs fan at Tottenham, at your manager, if they tried harder in certain games? You actually want them trying to that level in every single football match. So I, I totally understand where he's coming from. And I just thought that was a weird side story where people are just, again, we, I think we do this too much. And I've I'm, I'm definitely been guilty of this in the past. I'm trying not to do it as much. And where I do do it, call me out, you know, in a sensible, nice and polite way. But sometimes I don't think we try to see the other person's perspective we don't try to stand in their shoes and Sam said it to me last night a uh, Real Madrid fan in one of the match reactions he said well you, you can't I can only see the world through my eyes and, and I think that is a strange way to look at things or an interesting way but I find it to some but to me it's strange I think you have to do that so yeah look I, I understand exactly where Big Ange Postacoglu is coming from but look it's gonna be an exciting day there is no doubt about it whatsoever. 2 p.m. kickoff kick off here in the UK. We're going to be live afterwards with a full-length match reaction for you. Very soon we'll be back in the studio doing it as well. That's all just being put together. The desk is being built. We've got to get like a bespoke desk made. I'm very, very excited. Um, I, I truly, truly am. And that's coming together very soon. But I'm excited for the match reaction. I'm excited to see what happens. But I'll say it again. For me, Arsenal are still clear of Tottenham. Arsenal are too good for Tottenham. They should win this game. If Spurs pull it off, if Spurs get the, the W, that is a, it will be a very, very, very good performance from them. Which, by the way, they're capable of. But if I'm going to be a betting man today, if I was going to put a bet down, I'd go with 3-2 Arsenal. That is my score prediction. High scoring match. Lots of ebb and flow. Loads of excitement. Listen. I'm also throwing a red card in there. I don't know which team. Someone's picking up a red card today. Just a gut feeling. As ever, my people, listen, hit the like and the share button. Make sure you are subscribing. And if, you have, if you're already subscribing, click the bell notification button. Because the algorithm isn't always our friend. Some guy said to me the other day, but I always see notifications. I went, yeah, you're one of the, the, the 3% <laughs> that actually gets shown our content. Um, so, yeah, listen, get the bell notifications turned on as well. Take care, goodbye, God bless, and I'll see you soon. Peace.